This is how to install MPV with Anime 4K and YouTube DLP. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is go to 7zip.org and download 7zip. So next we're going to go to mpv.io. Now we're going to go to github.com to download Anime 4K and YouTube DLP. Then we head to gyan.dev slash ffmpeg slash building. The first thing we're going to want to do is to run and install 7-zip so we can extract all of the files. Now we're going to have to install MPV, so we're going to have to run this as administrator. If we don't, it's not going to run properly. Now we're going to extract Anime 4K. Then we're going to move inside MPV, then MPV again. Now we're going to make another folder and call it shaders. Now we're going to paste everything in here. Then we're going to go back to our downloads folder so we can extract FFMPEG. Then we're going to move these three files back to the downloads folder. Now we're going to select the three files we just moved and also YouTube DLP and we're going to move it into the MPV folder. Now we're going to make a new text document and we're going to call it input.config. I forgot to change the setting in File Explorer so I could view the file extensions. Now I can edit the file extensions. Now we're going to make another text document, call it yt-dlp.config. Once CMD says installation successful, you can now close CMD. I'm going to copy the text from high-end GPU. If you have a low-end GPU, then you copy the text from down there. And then we're going to paste it inside Notepad. Now we're going to open up the YouTube DLP.config file. Go to the pinned comment in this YouTube video, and then you're going to copy and paste it from there. Now we're going to go back to our downloads folder so we can move the MPV folder into our programs folder. Now we're going to see if YouTube DLP is working. So we're going to go ahead to Crunchyroll.com. 
and click on any random show. Then we drag the link over to MPV. Sometimes it takes a while because it has to download a little bit of the video beforehand. You're going to want to pause the video and read this before we continue any further.